Here's a quick overview of my uh, electric bike project. Just came back from a test ride with it. So here we have the batteries, the five amp hour, three cell lithium polymer sitting in the back saddlebag. I got two of them uh, running in series. So I got 22 volts at about five amp hours. And they run down through the speed controller, which is a 200 amp unit. Uh, there's a servo driver on the other side. I'll explain in a minute. And there's a switching regulator to power the logic. Uh, drives down to this large motor. I don't have the exact spec right now, but I'll, I'll post it in the notes. Uh, I have I machined this on my CNC. It's just a piece of UHMW, also another piece of UHMW. And I put a bearing on the inside of this piece, which rests on this shaft. So this whole unit can spin on the back side of it. It's bolted. So one side is held and then the shaft is supported so the can can spin against the wheel. Uh, I had a problem with this unscrewing during braking and uh, this flange is actually screwed into the can of the unit so I drilled and put this set screw into it and just keeps it from turning loose. I imagine I could have got creative and found a different way but it worked just fine. If I can put a smaller set screw too, I just had that one in the garage so it was simple. Um, from that, all the lines run up the front of my bike here, around the cabling. I got an amp meter which I've modified. I've taken the current shunt out of it and I've put the current shunt back where the, um, or in line with the speed controller, or sorry, in line with the battery I should say, to the speed controller. That way I wouldn't have to run heavy gauge cabling all the way up to this meter. But it means I also have to recalibrate the shunt because you add the resistance of this small wire all the way back. And just for testing purposes, I've ran uh, another cable that also comes along the brake line to this small uh, potentiometer which was from the servo tester which drives this whole unit in the back here I'm not sure. there we go so that's the servo tester hidden under the wheel and you can see the wire sticking out of it I just tied into the uh, PCB traces and brought the original potentiometer up here I'll do something more creative with it but that's how it's mounted right now to let me test the unit and then I just spin it to turn the motor on you know, bury the speed. I got it set to soft start, so it ramps up as slow as it can go. But, all right, I'll get it spinning and I'll show you how it works. That large spark is from the inrush current charging these large caps on the speed controller. So I'll have to put a, imagine I could stop that with a diode or some other method. All right, so speed controller's arm, the motor's arm, Slowly crank up the throttle. So that's a nice low idle. <laughs> Just cruising around and ramp up. So on the road that gets me about 47 to 48 kilometers an hour, which will let me keep up with traffic, so lots of fun. Another nice feature is if I get to work or whatnot and I don't feel like riding an electric motor on the way back home, you can just grab this hole it works and turn it up and now the, uh, the motor doesn't contact the wheel anymore and you can pedal as normal. And if you get lazy or you want a little more juice, you just turn it back down, let it contact tire and off you go. I may end up working up some sort of little locking device to lock it down and lock it up but as it stands right now it doesn't really slip and uh, works good so I'll leave it at that. The way this is set up um, isn't exactly how I designed it. I wanted this main mounting bracket to be up here and for the motor to swing below it and that would let the inertia of the motor starting swing into the tire and then once it hit the tire it would want to climb through the angles and it would so it would engage harder and harder into the tire. And that way when the motor would shut off, it would swing back out of the way and you could pedal as normal. The only reason I didn't do that is I don't quite have the room on this frame. Uh, this little gusset kind of gets in the way. And the seat post clamp, once I move it up high enough, I, I would have to remachine these. And so for now, I, I just put it up this way and I like it this way because for the most part, I'm going to run with the motor or at least a little bit of assist on because it's fun zooming around at 50 kilometers an hour. Um, Motor's running about three, four hundred watts. It's capable of a lot more, but I'm limited right now by my voltage and by my gearing between the can and the tire. More voltage, I'd go faster, or a bigger can, I would go faster. So, those are the uh, 
the main details of this project.